Okay, in this video we want to go ahead and set up the beer service in Kubernetes. And you can see up on the screen I do have the beer service on the Docker Compose. And in this case you can see that our setup is very similar to inventory, except we have one additional property we need to set, and that is for the inventory service host there on line 68. So let's go ahead and start creating that. I'm going to toggle over to the command line to use kube control to create the initial YAML file. So first thing we want to do is issue the command cube control, create deployment, and we'll call it beer service. And that's going to be the name of the service. It's going to come from the image. Again, this is going to be pulling from Docker Hub, so I have these Im images up in Docker Hub for your use. And this is going to be a drive run equals client. We want the YAML output. I'm going to redirect the output to the file beer service deployment YAML. And let's come back over to IntelliJ and we'll go ahead and edit that file. And in this file, we want to set up the environment properties. And I'm going to pause the video and set those up and we'll do a code review. So I've resumed the video and you can see up on the screen starting at line 25, this is where I'm uh, defining the environment parameters and name value pairs. And everything looks pretty much the same. So you look at the uh, Docker Compose. So we have the uh, property name and the value. And we have six of them. And you can see here that we have six of them. And again, here we are setting up the inventory service. So remember the inventory service that is going to match the service name and then that becomes effectively the host and uh, the IP is resolved within a Kubernetes context. So that is exactly what we want for this uh, deployment. I'm going to come back over to the command line and we'll go ahead and apply that. Mirror service deployment. See that one had, uh, was created. Now let's go ahead and create the service component for that. So create service cluster IP, it's going to be beer service, and the service is going to be exposed in port 8080. And also we need the dry run flag. Tell it to output YAML. And we'll redirect that to beer service YAML. Technically, I guess following the naming convention, we should do beer service service, but I think beer service YAML is... Uh, perfectly fine for our purposes. And we'll go ahead and apply that minus F. And that's beer service YAML. And let's see here. I'll, uh, I made a mistake calling that beer service YAML rather than YML just for consistency. I'm going to do beer service YAML. So that looks a little bit better. And then uh, let's go ahead and do a kube, kube control, get all. And now we can see that we have the beer service uh, pod running. So you can't quite see that. I'll scroll up a little bit so we can see that's uh, the top pod running. Uh, then we also have the service running. And we can see the various deployments. So uh, everything is up and it appears to be working properly. So let's go ahead and clear that. I'm going to toggle back over to IntelliJ. Again, what we did in this video is we created two files, beer service deployment and beer service YAML. The beer service deployment is mimicking what we'd set up for the Docker Compose as far as setting up the necessary environment properties to override and set things up for uh, the Spring Boot context. And then the beer service.yaml exposes that service as a service within uh, Kubernetes context.